So now we're going to give the device a test. Um, what you do is you usually to come packaged like that. So what you want to do is open up this sleeve so it goes all the way out there. Slip your arm in and then don't make it too tight. So the, the metal part helps you actually brace it on. So I won't make it too tight and we'll just make sure everything's in view. So I've already plugged this in. This part plugs into this hole. This is your pump and um, rest your arm. All right, and then you press start. So I must say that I am So my blood pressure is pretty normal, 122 over 76, as you see on the chart I'll put up on the screen. Um, this is in the normal range. Anything above that is high blood pressure. Anything below 120 over 80 is um, low blood pressure. And my pulse, it also gives you your heart pulse is 70. So I'm pretty much good. And it has an indicator here, as you can see it's green. I'll put, put it up to the screen so we can see it more clearly. You can see the indicator is green. Um, if I do the tests while standing up, for example, as I am now, um, it might shoot up because obviously my bl blood pressure is higher because I'm more active. So let's, let me just activate my arm and you'll see the difference. So this will obviously give you a false reading because I'm clenching my fist. So again, it recorded an error because I was actually moving my arm. So we'll start over. So the actual instructions say you should be resting your arm on, you know, on the table instead of um, uh, holding it up like this. And the other thing also is you're supposed to rest for, for 10 minutes. Again, it's an error because I'm talking as I'm doing it, so it interferes with the reading. So for this final reading, I'm going to put this down and still hold my arm up, but I'll be quiet. A slightly different reading not too different from the one I did with my arm rested so I'm just gonna sw uh, switch over to get on screen and talk about the device itself okay so this is my final takeaway on the Helogy um, um blood pressure monitor MDH131 um, that's MD dash H131 and my main takeaway is that one thing that really uh, struck me was the size of it. It's a much bigger device than the the predecessor which I reviewed previously. I'll leave the link below and um, The predecessor was much smaller about half the size of this and I think that's a much more um, Versatile thing in terms of travel if you're traveling then it, you, and you want to carry your device then that would work better This I thought looked more professional. It's more sturdy the LCD is super bright as you can see 
and um and also the pump just seems to be stronger it's it just gives you more a more stronger pump to it and um personally i prefer this device because of its sturdiness and its size and um it just feels and looks more professional i, I feel i can trust this more not to not to take away anything from the smaller devices but this um, appeals to me more especially with the display the brightness of the display is one thing i really like about it, it, it um, the rest of the functions are pretty much similar to the smaller device so there's no change in the settings in the memory settings in um you can still do two different people here and um, save the settings in the memory if you look through the manual once you buy it then you can see what i'm talking about um the one thing i got a little confused about was um this um usb c c type usb type c port um it does have a port but it didn't come with the cable so that was a bit odd <laughs> you know i actually had to look through the manual to see if they'd forgotten to pack the cord but it didn't list that there was a cord um, um, included with the package why I mentioned that is if it was a regular USB C USB ca uh, cable um, like the ones you use on Android devices then it wouldn't be a problem because those you get those everywhere but this is a type C a connection and that obviously um, requires a special cable so that's my my chief gripe with it other than that, I think it is a worthy investment. It uses regular batteries. Once again, I wish it used um, um, a plug-in. Since it's such a big device, you'd expect it to sit on the desk or and stay at home. But it uses regular uh, AAA batteries, and um, which are easy to come across. So that's not an issue. But once again since it does have a port for USB-C C type um, connect connectivity I just wish they'd included the cable with it but would I would I recommend it definitely yes I would recommend it I, I rigorously tested it after running uh, straight after sleeping you know in different states of my body bodily activity just to see if the reading would read right and it does pretty much come up with a, with an accurate reading. So that's my review on the Helogy Arm Blood Pressure Monitor MD-H131. Do check it out. I'll leave the link below. You can get it on Amazon and um, let me know what you think. This has been Victor on the Let Me Explain show and I'd like to thank Helogy for providing the, the product for review. This is an unbiased review. They didn't ask me to do a positive or negative review. They just asked me to review it. And this is my honest opinion. It is worth getting the device, especially if you have uh, blood pressure issues in the house. It's always good to be able to monitor it with a device that you can trust. Um, before I go, I would also like to say the armband is pretty professional, uh, professionally made. I don't like that part when I'm on video. Um, it has this um, metal rig which helps you uh, wrap the, the, the band around. It makes it so much easier. And the Velcro is, is pretty standard, good stuff. Um, the, cable, the cord, the pressure cord is long enough that you can place it on the desk and rest your arm um, without feet you know without a tug without tugging the actual device so it comes highly recommended in my book and once again thanks to helogy for providing the product and for continuing to up the game in terms of um, um giving a product that's good and easy to use to the market this has been victor on the let me explain show